Hi there, in the short lecture we will learn about how to create new folders and organize them by renaming the folders that you have created or maybe a files that you could easy to rename so that you can start setting up your own files organizing in file explorer so let's open our file explorer so you could open this file explorer if not you could you know go to start button and look at file explorer from all apps or if it is pinned on pinned into your start menu otherwise you can press windows key by holding windows key you can press e so that it actually opens the file explorer and then uh, you could navigate to quick access or you can uh, check check out if you have already opened files any of the recent files or folders it will be visible in my case the project folder which is already uh, opened in the past that's why it is coming under quick access even though it is not pinned it is actually showing let's say if i want to you know navigate manually i can go to this pc and i can navigate to the folders users and then the folder the one which i want to the onedrive folder and then i could go to documents so the same thing i could actually go directly from here onedrive and the documents right so just you remember that how the full path is available so that you know it when you try to practice you're easy to remember so within these documents you have a lot of folders like a project project has a subfolder a lot of files within this and also folders let's say if you want to create your own folder you could actually right click and show more options or if you are able to see already a new button you could actually create from here as a new folder or if you just click on new uh, show more options with new and the folder so when you actually click on new folder it gets um, selected with a blue color and the entire text gets automatically selected let's say i want to create this as an example movies example so if i give uh, as a type as a movies as a folder name and hit enter key or if i click on outside it actually creates that folder as a movies so let's try to do the same thing with another way so that could be you could actually click on this ribbon button in the navigation in the top and click on this new folder so this is also you could create it when you create new folder by mistake if you click outside it actually gets created with a new folder if i try to do one more time it gets created new folder already exists that's why it is actually randomly giving a number called number two so what happens is if i try to create the same folders again and again it actually gives an adding a number two and three but that's not the way we want it right so this one could be movies and this could be maybe audio files so how would i do this uh, to convert or to change this new folder to audio for that you have an option here select this you are able to get it here like a cut copy and this is what the rename so if you just click on this button rename which is a new uh, new option which is coming directly here in the top uh, with the windows 11 you could simply click on rename and give the name for example audio so in this case it got created as audio how would i do it with a mouse example so there is another method uh, if you're not able to do it with uh, if you don't want to do it with this method you could also do it with the mouse so just right click on this and you also have an option if you're not able to see here rename option you can click on show more options but by the way if you see here you also have the same toolbar settings here directly so you could also click on here to rename by the way if you put it here you're getting a shortcut name called f2 so if i if you just press f2 by selecting this let's say if i select this and i'm pressing in my keyboard called f2 key that's a function 2 that's a f2 and then automatically it goes to the rename option right i could you know give a different name let's try also do uh, you know from here with the more options and you also able to get it here a rename option in the down so if i just say rename this would be like you know english example i can type it and hit enter key so that it gets created that folder name so that's as much as easy so let's also try with shortcut key just select the folder that you want to rename 
press F2 key in your keyboard and give uh, what other folder you want for example I want this is for my education files so give a space education files and that's how it's gonna create a folder and by the way it also automatically sorts once you create it by the name sort because it is actually sorted with the name based right this is how you could create and the same thing goes for any of the files also for example if I want to rename I could just click on rename button and say this is my set 4 instead of set 3 I could you know rename it let's also try to learn other functionality within this toolbar let's say if I want to copy this when I select this file called set 4 I can simply copy by clicking on here or I can right click here and copy as the file by going for the more options I'll get here as a copy so when I say copy and later point what I can do is I could actually paste it when I say paste the paste button uh, will create the same file as it is as a second copy of the same file so I could use this shortcut or I could use this or I could even go for the show uh, show more options and I can paste it so you also have a uh, other option to copy as a control C so if you just go to select the file and use in your keyboard by holding control key press C and then uh, wherever you want for example inside audio I would like to you know paste this file as a copy so what I can do is I can hold control or key and V so that it gonna it's gonna paste the file so this is how you could you know copy paste the file and you could you know copy a file with a control C and with control V you could paste it what happens if you try with control C copy a folder as it is like you know I can do this copy directly control C and then I can go to a folder and I could paste it with a control V or with a right click with a show more options or I could do this perform I can also perform directly with this option so now that English folder got as it is copy pasted so this is how you can copy paste the files as well as you can move also so when we talk about the move you could actually uh, for example I want this exe file to be you know moved so what I can do is I could actually cut it so when you cut it actually moves if you see a little uh, grayed out option uh, with this file because it is a memory that it has cut and I can move to any of the folder for example inside English I could actually paste this so for the paste again you know the shortcut which is a control V you could use it or you can you know use the toolbar to paste it this is how it actually moves the file so if I just go back here the file is gone from here and it's moved to inside English this is how you could also move the files